Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Gauntlet Podcast. I'm Zach, and this is Dom. I'm Dom. This week, we are doing the movie The House of Gucci, which came out this past year, starring Adam Driver and Lady Gaga and a bunch of other famous that actors. was Lady Gaga. I knew that. Oh, my god! I gotta gosh. say, like, I, I was... I, I, I was impressed. I didn't know she could do like, that. I know she's she's been. I mean, the star is born, and I never saw that one. Another did I, yeah. um, but yeah. Anyway, she uh, yeah surprised me. Very Pretty good. Movie. Holy crap! Okay, Very so good. we're gonna jump right into right. some of the reviews. Yeah. All right. So I'm on Rotten Tomatoes right now, and I gotta tell you, the tomato meter is at a sixty three percent. Yeah, isn't great. Kind of like last week. Yeah, I think that was that one was a few percentage points higher, but yeah, mm. very close. Yeah, but yeah. then the audience score is 83%. So 83. the audience liked it better than critics. Okay. I guess. Um, this is all that matters. True. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, and then let's see. Actually, let me do this first since I'm on it. And then on IMDb, it got a 6.6, and Metacritic gave it a 59%. 59%, I believe, was the exact same score as Lost City last week. So okay. this movie is similar with the audience as last week. But let's jump right into some of the reviews. Um, okay, so it got a it got 224 fresh reviews and 134 rotten ones. So okay. statistically, it, you know, it's it it's pretty much. I mean, it did better, obviously. Yeah. With the fresh. So yeah. all right, this is what some of them say. Um, this is a positive one. This person says Lady Gaga makes an immediate and an indelible impression as Patrizia Patrizia. Reggiani, the future Signora Gucci in Ridley Scott's film about the Gucci's fractured history. Um, yeah, I agree. I didn't know Ridley Scott directed the movie until the credits came up, and I was like, (laughs) Me neither, yeah. Like, I love Ridley Scott, you know, that's good. Yeah, Yeah. I I have no idea. Yeah, um, all right, so negative one. Uh, the companies, the camp. So this person, I don't know why they call them campy scenes, but I, I assume they mean like the serious scenes. Sure. The campy scenes make the straight drama scenes. Oh wait, sorry. Maybe he means the funnier scenes. I don't okay. know. We just read it. The yeah. campy scenes make the straight drama scenes feel under energized and dull, while the straight drama scenes make the campy scenes feel over the top and unintentionally hilarious. What? I thought the drama scenes were pretty well done. Oh, yeah, so did I. Um, all right, it's one person's opinion. Yeah. All right, um, this person, positive. While these performances are probably doomed to film come award season, they are the movie's saving grace. The sheer silliness of the proceedings neutralize the film's attempt at plumbing the dark side of wealth and corruption. I don't know why that says it's a positive review when it sounds like the dark side. It showed the wait. Anyway, I thought they really not, showed the dark side. Yeah, and honestly, I thought the performances were very good all around. I don't know why they said it. I mean, was Adam Driver, good. when has he ever, except for Kylo Ren, maybe, when has he ever been bad? You know, then again, that was a directing because it wasn't him. He's awesome. Yeah. So anyway, okay. Um, all right, this is the last negative one. Textually, it is like a tabloid newspaper. Visually, it's fine art. More often than not, the two do not blend well together. Huh. I don't right. agree, but I can maybe see. Have it. You know? Yeah. Um, like slightly, you know? Like I don't I don't agree, but I can see how you could get that opinion, maybe. Because yeah. to me, it's kind of like comes to a point that I want to mention later, but I might mention now. It's just that the business side and the emotional side felt very separate for me. You mm, know, I agree. Where those two plot lines seemed very much different. So maybe that's what they're referencing maybe yeah maybe they really did feel a lot, really separate yeah what this movie is kind of i mean it's it's a little difficult because on one hand i thought the acting was phenomenal oh yeah so good but then the story was very slow like you said especially the business side like where was the first like, point it was yeah i was curious funny. where you found it because to me it was um, almost the midpoint yeah she, it was the tarot it was cards and it's like you must do this it was pretty far along. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, wh- um, where did she get her? Because the first, it, it's almost like this movie was in sections. And I guess this goes right into movie breakdown. Yeah, um, that's true. We flow. So, <laughs> we flow, yeah. See it. You're like water. Um, yeah. Uh, it's like their first section is Patricia 
I'm not gonna do the accents with the names. But, but it's, yeah, yeah, it's really hard. It's, yeah. It was kind of fun to listen to. Um, it was, yeah. Um, it's like Patrizia is pursuing Maurizio. That's like the first section. Then they get married. And then the second section is she wants more power and control of the company and is trying to jab him to do it. Mm-hmm. And then the third section is the fall apart and then she kills him. That so, blew my mind at the end. It really did too. And it is a, based on a true story. So these are facts. Yeah. One thing that I didn't really appreciate was the fact that, so I guess this still is in the realm of a movie, of a movie breakdown. Yeah. Um, it felt really disconnected. It and did. I know people might have gone into the movie maybe knowing the facts of what happened. Mm-hmm. I did not at all. I did not know that that happened. Not at all. I had... um, so oh, when yeah. it happened, I was like, this seems very out of place mm-hmm. because the flow of the movie did not really fit that. I don't know. That, that right. was my take on it. Because it yeah, very almost random when I was like, wait, so she wants, she, she, she's angry. Obviously he divorced mm-hmm. her. She, all the power she helped him build or kind of made him build. Yeah. She didn't no really do much. Of. Yeah. And then suddenly she goes, to the decision to hire hitman yeah. to kill him so also i guess this kind of goes into character i really did not get oh what was her name pini oh pina pina yeah or um, P- yeah pina i did not yeah, I like so she was actually a very crucial part of the story oddly she enough accomplice yeah. to the murder like you do not yeah she so. was only in like three scenes yeah. and they weren't even very pertinent scenes right so that's why it shocked me so much at the end when suddenly they're accomplices and mm-hmm. they're in together when she kills him yeah did you or, notice or hires hitman to kill him yeah i guess that's more cinematography but i don't want to forget this point it's like every time she goes to pina to get more readings or whatever mm-hmm. um it gets darker like like the, the second time she's there right yeah it's like candle it instead yeah. of like sunshine uh-huh. um, as if to signify that you know it's it's more serious and it's darker i'm like mm-hmm. yeah that, that truly that actually makes sense so yeah, i noticed that i was like that's that's clever on their part to show that because it was it was true mm-hmm. yeah i agree that's true um but anyway okay so let's go into now character development character development now there was a crap ton of development um simply because from the beginning really? I'm going to call her Patricia, <laughs> Patricia. Um, <laughs> uh, I liked her. I thought yeah. she was great. I thought she yeah. was sweet. She, she was outgoing. She was adventurous. She was cool. And at um, first, the stick she was jabbing at her yeah. husband to get moving was good. And I was like, yeah, yeah the dude needs to like fill yeah. the role. Like he needs to, you know, stand up. Exactly. Like he's like, even, even down to the point of, well, aren't you going to ask me? Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, because he's so like almost incompetent um but she she says that actually yeah she does it <laughs> with a little more uh, color um yes. but yeah so i thought that that alone because making you like her in the beginning is cool because you know she's the main character right away because number one the cover right mm-hmm. two she starts narrating the thing mm-hmm. um so you know it's gonna be more her story and then towards the end you really and maybe that's everyone in- interprets it differently based on where they are or who they are it's like when you lose connection with her it maybe is like the point at which you lose connection with the- that character i don't know might say something about you or something because i i mean because mm-hmm. i don't know maybe maybe that's just a, a individual call i guess I, but like no that that's that's a good point yeah when did you lose connection with her the moment because to me, she she had values, which is what makes her such a believable villain, was because yeah. she wasn't just a, a comic book bad guy who wanted to blow up the city. She loved her daughter, genuinely. And she's mm-hmm. like, do you think I'd let anybody ruin her life or anything like that? Mm-hmm. Um, did they? Uh, for me, it was, it was more when she started to get emotional and start being more aggressive not not aggressive in the sense of i'm going to be business savvy right aggressive in the sense of losing emotional balance and emotional intelligence and just becoming more of a fireball me too and yeah that's and, what, that's what i lost it too because she was getting stuff done right she was yeah um, she was doing great and then she teetered and became way too wrathful right it was when she became like like at first she was like the good gentle pressure 
yeah. from Rizzo because he wasn't doing anything. Right. Um, and then when it started to get into like she started f- forcing him, if you may, although he kind of let right. like he he let himself be led. He wasn't strong enough standing for himself. Right. And she started breaking up the family when he didn't want her to. Right. And then it was right there where, like, I lost I lost connection in the sense of me being sympathetic towards her and wanted right. her to win. Right. Like I still like was invested in her because she was the main character and funny exactly. enough also the villain, which was a cool twist because yeah. it was like the main character was the bad guy the entire time. Yeah. Um. But. Yeah, it was when she 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 almost became like overbearing, I guess you could say, or or adamant, and and like there was no way he could even make any decisions. Right. She she thought he was incompetent, um, to the point where heads she had to run everything and he couldn't right. even try right um but yeah anyway yeah that's that that's... i mean it's it's the lack of balance in my mm-hmm. opinion because it's like the moment that she forsakes like they're married like the decency yeah being together in it mm-hmm. because i mean the, t- the tarot cards it's ridiculous you know but but at least they say there's a love a great love in your life and together you can do it she and you're even stronger says, together. together yeah pina was even saying those right. things, and, and, and then she forsakes the together part because yeah. she's just so eager to keep going and it's almost like she didn't part. realize um what together meant yeah <laughs> like, like she's like no like we're stronger together so hence listen to everything i say right um, and then Which he's like funny that, pulling that, back because he's like wait a second this isn't anything that I wanted. And I know a lot of the things he wanted were really like, he probably should have stepped up sooner than he did. Oh yeah. Or he didn't really, anyway, but like, but, but was well interesting. They kind of did foreshadow the end towards yeah. the beginning where they're at that villa, Aldo's villa. And he's trying to get Maurizio to join the family or come back into the company. Mm-hmm. And he tells Patricia, he's like, I am the happiest I've ever been. Yeah. And she still keeps pressuring him. She to, still doesn't care. To do what she wants. Right. Because which, which they were boils truly... down to what she wants and what he wants. Right. And then when he does become kind of what she always wanted him to become, he cuts her out. Yeah. Because he knows what he wants now. Yeah. And she has become something he doesn't want because of how she was. That's a good point. And then yeah. she, she freaks and breaks down and kills him. Mm-hmm. So I got to <laughs> yeah. say the character <laughs> development... Show um it was very stable and very good yeah Pretty much the way through i love the character development in this movie the development was great yeah but um honestly we kind of just covered protagonist and antagonist. we really did which is good because we were kind of yeah. dwelling too long on that if you want to finish yeah that. exactly so um, which moves us i guess to acting before we get into script writing yeah which is kind of where i think it teetered um yeah. the acting i thought was really good yeah well, from uh, the key performers, well, dude, number one, also, I predicted it like five minutes before it happened, which isn't that big of a prediction, I know. Uh, <laughs> but um, the uncle who was so, oh, Patrizia, oh, like, I love you, like, oh, you're so beautiful, that kind of thing. It was it was such a shallow relationship. It was, this is really cute, moi, moi, but yeah. this can't go deeper. Like, yeah. it's the kind of relationship where it's like, how do we actually connect? Because we're too busy being flowery, you know? Yeah. It's like, where's the meat, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and then later, that's exactly when he's like, you're nothing without me. I put you here. Like, you can't yeah. try to tell me what to do. You're the reason. I'm the reason that you're actually something, you know? Exactly. And so the, the the manipulation, the, right? Yeah. The uncle, oh. although was really, he wanted uh, Maurizio as like a tool because yeah. Paolo, his own son, didn't do squat for what he wanted that guy to do. in acting holy crap that guy was Jared Leto. so good so you know what's funny so is annoying. so i've noticed in a few of his past roles maybe i don't know the last couple i think mm-hmm. he he I, it's like he's always he's done what he's always wanted to do but he couldn't because of how he looked yeah. like obviously he's more of a almost i guess he's a pretty boy in the sense of like he Wait. he's not like a rugged actor looking at he's got the long oh, I, hair jared leto He's Morbius? Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess I wouldn't call him. No, no, not in this sense. I'm not, I, <laughs> I wouldn't no, I'm call saying, him attractive. But no, okay. no, I'm just, well, I'm not really saying that either. I'm just saying right. in the sense of like, he's almost got a little more feminine look. That's true. Him. Yeah, yeah. Like you're like, like so, a pretty boy. You're right. So you're what right. did he do? He grew out a massive beard and his hair is super long. I didn't even and recognize him. Now in his past few roles, 
it's like what he's always wanted to do. He's getting the chance because he's changing his whole appearance. Dude. So now he fits into certain roles. Yeah. It's like I heard an interview with Rob Lowe once. Yeah. And it was he's like, I got to, I've been turned down for so many roles yeah. because of how I look. Right. Because I don't look like the rugged man's man who can be the hero in certain right. action flicks. Right. It's just like a rock. Like, and that really annoyed him in the sense yeah. of he couldn't like it, it was limiting. Right. Like at first when he was younger, he's like, oh, he's like the heartthrob and get all these love all, romance right. roles. Yeah. And then he's like, he got bored with that and wanted to do like different kinds of movies. Right. He couldn't because of how he looked and people right. had labeled him as something. Yeah. So that's why I'm like. I think Leto is finally becoming doing what he was always wanted to do, always wanted to do, which is interesting because he's changing his appearance so much. Because when I looked at the movie to watch it and to see how long it was, um, I saw him in the cast list, and then I totally forgot to look for him in the cast because I I didn't know, I didn't oh, yeah. know that was him. Holy crap! Yeah, he could yeah. act phenomenal. Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah. He pulled off like a mid forties, annoying ass guy. Yeah, just a whiny dude with too much power and too much money, like <laughs> holy crap. Um, but yeah, I guess yeah. that's directly into acting. Um, so we already covered Patricia. I, she was really, really good. Her really eyes, good. mostly and, the eyes act, the acting in the eyes. Yeah, was and really good. I wasn't really, I was, I guess you could say I wasn't like surprised because I had heard she didn't really good in A Star Is Born. Yeah, and I saw bits and pieces, but not the whole movie. Yeah. Um, which I'm curious to kind of go see now because I'm like, wow. She's yeah. really good. So right. I wasn't I Bradley expecting, Cooper too. So yeah, and I wasn't expecting her to be bad. I was honestly hopeful. I was like, I wonder how good she's gonna do because yeah. she's good in that. And she's obviously a pop singer. So you know, mm. there's always you always hear a pop singer in a movie, and you're like, well, how's the reaction? Like, oh is gosh. it for? Is it you know to grab an audience? Because like, right. oh, they go see the movie. Right. She did amazing. Like honestly, yeah. she probably because of her role, she was the main character. Yeah. She pulled off the most and the best acting in the movie. Yeah, and I know there's other big names in there: Adam Driver, Al Pacino, Jared Leto. Um, Al Pacino. Like, Al Pacino. Yeah, he's he's Aldo. What? I need a, I need yeah. to. Well, he's getting old. He look. I mean, he he looks he looks old now. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I thought it was it was I thought it was great. Um, and all the all the characters were very real. Oh yeah. Well, I so, thought I really did appreciate the um. Uh, the 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 interactions between well number one when when two when it was one on one the characters that's mm-hmm. when it, I I think it really shined when you had Patricia on Adam Driver I forget his name M- Maurizio Maurizio there we go um, Maurizio Maurizio um, that was great and then when it was her on the uncle that was awesome mm-hmm. and it just it just whenever it was one on one it was great I mean it was still good when it was everyone else. Yeah, but uh, that's when it really um, shined to me, or mm-hmm. shown, you know, um, just personally. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I think the dude, like this, the one scene between it was almost like Marriage Story, where Adam Driver and uh, where Maurizio and Patrizia are fighting, and he actually puts like shoves her against the wall, that kind of thing. Oh yeah. Um, and you knew, like, holy crap, this marriage will not last. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that scene escalated because that stuff had never happened before that you'd seen yeah. you know and then they just like stare at each other yeah and then I, i'm like i thought they'd say something then i was like no they're not they're just gonna end like this and which is great. more powerful because and, and then the scene cut and you're like wow so you're just like what are they thinking you know yeah um and then obviously you know he sends her back um so yeah in terms of acting that about covers it but holy crap that was i i thought stellar performances by everybody like i actually mm-hmm. thought it i didn't just think yeah it was pretty good i actually thought while i was watching it this is really good acting yeah me so, too i gotta say the points. one caveat the one piece of salt in the sugar yeah just the one <laughs> needle in the haystack yeah um i i know they couldn't have done this because it was an american made movie mm. and none of them knew italian right i it, oh. it just, I gotta say, I, I'm becoming more and more wanting the authentic and mm. historical sort of stuff. Yeah. So when I see a movie that's supposed to be historical and like like they all have British accents and they're French, you know, that sort right. of thing. Right. And it's like supposed to be historical. It drives right. me crazy. And I know they like they did a really good job. They all had Italian accents, great. But they're all Italian. So why do they have Italian accents when they're supposed to be speaking Italian? Right. And I know they couldn't do it because none of them knew Italian. They couldn't make a movie. Where, I mean, they could have done that. But they wanted the names, the actors, and they did a right. great job. Oh yeah. 
I just it, it it was just bugging me the whole time where it's like yeah like it doesn't lose Italy. points for me. They're all but, supposed to be speaking Italian, but they're all they're all you know it's obviously English and they're speaking right. in Italian accents. Yeah. But then there's moments where they speak in Italian, and I had subtitles on, so there were moments yeah. where it would say speaking in Italian, and yeah. then they go back to English and you're like, what the heck? <laughs> like, wait, I you didn't it. see that? What? They would they would dub it in English when they spoke in Italian. No, no, no. I know they did. Yeah. Yeah. But it just annoyed me because it's like, oh, you're like, well, why, why not? They speak in English. Yeah, like this right. is their language. Right. Anyway, that's my yeah. one. My one. Um, yeah. Little bittersweet. Okay, yeah, because yeah, for me, like, it doesn't lose points for me. But also, that is a good point. Holy crap! Like, if if they had done that, like more, you know, and, like obviously, some parts, most parts in English, but, but throw in more Italian. Throw in more culture, maybe. You know. Um, I don't know. Yeah, which and I, it's tough because yeah, yeah, they're all the all actors. They couldn't be. Exp- I mean, how, the production went way longer. Everybody learned Italian, right? You know, really well. So it's you know believable. Yeah. Like, so even if it was just the lines they had to say, like that yeah. would have taken a lot longer. Yeah. yeah. Um, one thing in the cinematography, which I guess is more movie breakdown, but moving into cinematography, um, mm-hmm. I really did like how in the wedding scene, her side is full. Yes. Right? And because and they're like, all business and moguls and cold, there's like there's four no people. One. Yeah, yeah, there's like four people on yeah. the Gucci side. And I was like, that really does play to what she's marrying into, you know, and who she becomes. Yeah. It, just, it was uh, it was like up, you know. We're yeah. like, you know what's interesting <laughs> about that scene too is yeah, it's 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 funny because like she has like what he wants, right. And he has what she wants. Yeah. And she ends up becoming more Gucci than he ever did. Right. And attempts to grab it. And then when he kind of fills the shoes of Gucci, he cuts her out. So anyway, right. it's, it's just very interesting. Well, because her character, I noticed, like, she always dressed well. You know? Mm-hmm. They always had enough. They weren't wealthy, but she always dressed nice, right? Yeah, like her dad, um, Remy, like, he had a good company. Right. So but, they would have been fine. It's just yeah. she wanted status and, more importantly, how she saw did they ever explain that i wanted to like maybe i missed it but did they explain why the hell she was so passionate about it no they never did that is a massive flaw to me because the whole movie i'm thinking why is she being such a bitch like like come on like why, why can't she be a little more um like she's why, she, why, why she is she getting so nasty and right the, yeah why did you want the power in the right because it had to be an emotional reason which right? is great because that takes us right into credit it really does um <laughs> And I got to say, so for me, okay, so even if a movie hits all the marks, but script writing doesn't pass, the movie can't pass for me yeah. because script writing is like the freaking spine. Right. And it's not just of, the lines. Yeah. Exactly. Like it's, it's the flow of the story. Mm. And that's, when, when, yeah, when we say script writing, we don't just mean how are the lines written. Right. Script writing is the freaking baseline the spine it's it's the flow of the story so if that fails regardless of acting and music cinematography i say it can't float um and honestly like you said there was just some holes in the script writing i feel and yeah i just (laughs) because it didn't hit the nail on the head it's kind of like you said in the beginning and pardon me i don't know why the hell the dog's barking um but (laughs) It's like you said, it was like three separate moments where you had the beginning where they're dating, right? And then where she's she's ramping things up and then the end, right? Yeah. Um, and if they would have maybe, because they did make massive jumps in time because they had the baby and then it suddenly cuts in the next scene, holy crap, she's like seven. So I know, like, yeah. She's like, if you if you don't eat your breakfast, your father will be ma- uh, angry. I'm like, exactly. Okay, so now she's that old. You know how much? Yeah. So they've lived in this, you know, apartment thing or penthouse for a while. Um, mm-hmm. So that's that's interesting. Uh, but I kind of wish they they blended it. And to be fair, they were trying to cover a lot of, a lot. They were trying to set up the entire story so you'd get it right because they couldn't exactly. just start with. Yeah. And then she killed him. It's like whoa. Yeah. They need setup, right? Yeah. So they did do that part well, I guess. Um, I think. Oh, what I think. And maybe this is just me speculating and how I, maybe I would have done it if I was in that position. Yeah. But I almost feel like it would have been more impactful if at the very beginning when she's narrating, she even hints or even says that she kills him. And this is yeah. how it unfolds. Because Ooh. then you're like, oh my gosh, how did it unfold? Right. Because like I said earlier, 
it felt almost so disconnected when it's it's like okay then this happens and this happens and this happens the divorce mm-hmm. suddenly she wants to kill him right i mean i know they had marriage issues obviously and she was right. really upset at him but it didn't it didn't feel killing him didn't it was like a massive wanted step. yeah for yeah. what would had it happened i mean right. like i don't know maybe she was just that delicate and upset which yeah goes back to your point why right why does she want the power i want to know her emotional explain reasons explain that yeah. i feel like they could have used that so much better especially when like like she marries him anyway when he comes and says i've been disowned by right. my father but i'm a gucci i need to work for your dad's company yeah she still so, marries the guy so you're like okay well she, then she wasn't just after his money like his father yeah said. and that relieved this the, the tension put there by his dad Exactly. Leave the audience of, oh, I guess she's not, you know, a gold digger. Yeah, you know? but I think a key scene there, you could have maybe made a point where it's stressed that she still doesn't want this, she wants more, and then she starts pushing him. Instead, right. it almost seemed like, I mean, it was very gradual, like, she right. gets the call from the uncle, she's like, oh, we should go, you know, please, let's right. go, you know, and, but there's no reason why, like you said, why, yeah. why, why? And that, so, oh, that is a massive, a massive reason. hole for me. I need to know the motive of mm-hmm. the antagonist slash main exactly. Character. That's like and uh, well, it's very important making big deal have depth, right? And motive. I mean, so that's going to affect it a lot because holy crap, that is a massive plot hole. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Holy crap. Okay. Music. Um, music. Honestly, there I was not much. I didn't notice. The there was a lot of silent moments. Yeah. Which, kind of contributed i feel to the feeling of slowness slow drag yeah. of it mm-hmm. um and almost boring business meetings although a lot of those meetings were interesting in the sense of like you're kind of seeing the politics of the family business and everything yeah which wasn't terrible but like that person's in the review it was like they, they said the moments together were good but then to right. get on, on their own were good but then together it, it kind of made it not it yeah started. yeah because it's, it's like they, they felt very very separate you know almost yeah disconnected yeah like they didn't mix well at all but they were you could still appreciate them for what they were mm-hmm. but they weren't about to mix you know so mm-hmm. this that's what i thought Which yeah was, i agree okay um meaning honestly I don't, meaning? Know I don't really know don't um, hate people <laughs> i don't know it's like and I know not every movie, especially rapid. historical um, reenactments, I guess you could say. Yeah. Um, I know that yeah. they, they don't all have like a pivotal meaning. This wasn't really one of those movies like, say, um, Fight Club was, you know, where that, right. that meaning really stands out. Oh, yeah. Um, it was over. So, capturing the power. Yeah, I wouldn't, honestly, I don't know. Um, aside from like obvious, don't kill your husband. Right. <laughs> Or your ex-husband, because then you end up going to jail too. Yeah, and you don't get anything that you wanted. Yeah, I think it was. Um, um, for me, it was more along the lines of like, you you can definitely be successful because she had proof she was successful, like she was getting success, right? Yeah. But she made a mistake of taking it too far too fast. Honestly, if we want to go way back, we could say, um, date longer because right. he uh, he really like if you would have seen that in her maybe yeah. before he got married yeah um and then then it's what happened died. yeah wouldn't have died. that's a good point it's like holy <laughs> crap date like learn about the person did that that's a good point it's kind of like and and maybe they did in real life but in the movie it made it seem like they went on like two dates then they and don't be so like, I want to marry her. like in Maurizio's part like don't be so clueless like she's doing all this stuff it's like and she's treating you like she is. It's like, don't let things escalate to the point. Hash it out. Like, figure it out before yeah. it gets to that point, right? Mm-hmm. Don't just stew in each other's quiet thoughts and then let it build to a head and blow exactly. up. Exactly. Right? Like, he let her walk all over him until yeah. he didn't. And when he didn't, everything went to shit. Right. And then she killed him. Instead so of working like, together, it's like a power yeah. couple kind of thing. I don't know. They could have exactly. they easily done that. It'd been awesome. But instead, exactly. they, they didn't talk. Right? It's the communication. <laughs> Communication is key. Marriage. Exactly. Um, yeah. yeah. So oh, that, yeah, that's pretty much, maybe, maybe that can be summed up in one word is communication. Because even amongst the entire Gucci family. Yeah. As was shown <laughs> by the wedding scene, no one showed, right? Yeah. Um, communication. So if we gave this movie a meaning, it would be communication. Yeah. 
yeah. And then also, okay, so we have movie comparison, which we don't do much because it never really fits. Yeah. But oh, yes, yes. Go on, go on. Ridley Scott movies. Yes. Oh. This compare? Wow. We should do Gladiator. Hey, want to do that next week? I think we should. Because it's poetic and I really want to watch it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, okay. Honestly, I mean, I, I don't think this is one of Ridley Scott's better ones. No. Um, in my in my personal opinion, but uh, yeah. That wraps it up, and we can now do the, the. We can let's have it run the gauntlet and see what happens. Did you, exactly. Also, did you notice that the old woman in gold was in it? This painting. Oh my gosh, you're By, right. I, I dare you. You know. <gasps> oh and I, yeah. Because because we did woman in gold like like yes. a month ago or so, yeah. and I thought that was really cool that she was actually in it. That is really cool. Because I was like, there she is. Yeah. So that was that was pretty cool. Okay, movie breakdown. Let's let's rank this. All right. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to say no because nope. I lost interest right before the climax happened because yeah. it kind of slowed down, and um, I feel like they could have done it where it grabbed your interest a little more, maybe changed some things up. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I just got to go with how I. Right. Well, so no. I'm yeah, I'm gonna say the same thing only because of like we were saying where the three parts didn't blend. Yeah. You know, they were like and then, three, they, three like three you parts. said earlier, the plot points were very hidden. Right. Like I was in a like, sense where you couldn't think about them and point them out. And I feel like a movie just flows better when you're able to think. Right. Oh, this is when it started. Like right. this is when the quest. The right. Well, I forgave story it. where the quest started. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because for a while, I was like, well, the longer the movie, you know, the longer to the first plot point. So it's all divided. Right. And then I was like, yeah. wait, it's been a long time. And I clicked the, the bar and I was like, wait, we're almost in the middle of the movie. I know. I don't even yeah. know what they're supposed to be doing right now. They're just kind of reacting to the moguls making decisions. Exactly. Um, yeah. I agree. Um, um, which is they're supposed to go into the offense at the first plot point instead of just being reactive. Yeah. Or not I even. Mean, they're supposed to start on a quest and then maybe further on. Anyway. Yeah. Um, Okay, okay, character, character development. development. I'm gonna say yes. On yeah, that does get a yeah. That was great. Yeah, that does get a yes. Simply because, though, like we were saying, um, it was very from the beginning to the end. The contrast was very, very different. I agree. Uh, it was very and apparent. Honestly, protagonist antagonist breakdown. I'm gonna say yes too because yeah. that was the playoff between Marisa yeah and exactly, and that was I feel like that was really well done. Yeah, I'm gonna um, say. Um, protagonist yes but antagonist no oh my gosh they didn't wait let a minute, you know what right. the hell you wanted that's you know? right i guess that has to be a no then because the antagonist is so important you have to have meaning yeah like i like what the hell was her motive other than exactly. i want i want power it's like yeah but it's why? like they did everything you know? else so well but then yeah the why was missing right it's like why do you want to rule the world that's a major emotional force like Exactly. More, anyway, and they acting. never even made it clear like she like hated her father's company. She hated working there. Right. Like that wasn't even there. To, right. Like to maybe kind of just it. her whole life she was just insulted because she she wasn't anything, and she's like, now I'm gonna make myself something. I don't know, something like that. I, I was like exactly, a passing yeah. comment, like when I she's agree. talking to Pina. Maybe that's just mm-hmm. maybe she says, "Oh, as a, yeah. as a child, I was." That might have been enough. Who knows? Never had enough. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. Acting. So yeah, no, no for me too. Yeah. Yeah. All right, acne. Um, yes, yeah. say yes. It's a big yes, big yes. Yes. Um, yes. Cinematography. I'm gonna say no because yeah, I know it wasn't that kind of movie, but yeah, they're just nothing stood out to me. And I'm not a professional, obviously, but yeah, nothing stood out. Yeah, to me. I'm gonna say yes only because of the the scenes where they were fighting. Okay. And the the camera work in terms of like their eyes and their expressions, because mm-hmm. I did notice in the scene where um she really let loose. I liked the camera work in that particular scene. Um, okay, script writing. Script writing yeah. is a no. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. X. No X twice. Yeah. Um, Just because, like we said, there was holes. The lines, the lines were good. Holes. Yeah. Yeah, but the the flow. Yeah. It was really bouncy. You know, it was like it's like yeah. a very not smooth roller coaster. You know, you, you want it to be smooth. Exactly. Your spine to come out all weird. Um, okay. Music. Uh, music. I'm going to say no. Yeah. Because where was there? There was music? <laughs> there, wait, there was music? Yeah. There was very, very little. And yeah. I don't even know the theme. You know, you should always know the theme, in my opinion. You know? Yeah. It was almost like the music reacted to the scene. Yeah. It's like, oh, something happened. Then they put music in. Think about it. The it best movies. And if you're, if you're a music junkie like me, you can recall the theme music to really 
blockbuster movies. Like, I think Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, like uh, um, Avengers, uh, Avengers, Titanic, Titanic you know, yeah. Avatar. I can think of all oh, of them yeah, yeah. off the top yeah, of my head. Exactly. But so you should always know. Yeah. Um, okay. Meaning. Uh, meaning. No. I couldn't think of one. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. Like. Um, I honestly like. I, like we had we had to talk about it. And aside try to from like, like maybe communication, but that's that, that's obviously we're 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 we're. Yeah. Like we're collecting that straw like, what does it mean it's like it should be apparent you know exactly uh, yeah one, two, um five, and then movie comparison if we're throwing that in too with oh yeah movies, that would be enough for me too um yeah so yeah oh definitely oh no okay so in that case we have 13 x's to five checks okay <laughs> that lets you know they did there you not have it. pass the gauntlet they did not um, pass the gauntlet unfortunately the the main thing for me that killed this movie was why why does she want what she wants yeah that the is why wish she would kill biggest, her ex-husband exactly that is the biggest yeah. thing like the motive behind the main character slash antagonist mm-hmm. like that that should be obvious and i know like we're just two amateurs you know rebuking a ridley scott film but to me personally right <laughs> mm-hmm. um yeah i didn't like it much you know the acting was honestly awesome. i mean it got a, on on most of the review sites. It got around sixty percent. Right. So um, it didn't do great. Yeah. There either. Yeah. Um, I know it did win a few awards. Um, and there were some good ports. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ports. There good were some good parts. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I gotta say that. Um, yeah. That's I, my that's my final critique. Wasn't a wasn't a fan in particularly. Okay. Exactly. So, dude, next week. All right, next week we're doing a powerhouse. We're we gotta doing do extended. We gotta do extended. Um. Yes, I will try to find that. If you have an extended version, it. y'all, watch oh my gosh. it. Because... Extended version of Gladiator explains so much more and makes it that much better. You connect with the characters um, a crazy amount more. Like you didn't obviously know. we're biased in the sense we've seen it before, but we're trying right. to do we're trying to hit major movies, and that's a major movie. Right. So um, we're trying to inter- intersperse movies we have not seen with movies that we know have come out and been successes. Right. So that we can have you know feedback and talk about all of them. So anyway. Right. Join us next week for Gladiator on the on the podcast. And like, subscribe, comment, let us, let us know, know your which thoughts. One next. Yeah. And thank you for joining us. Ciao. Ciao. We'll which makes sense because this movie was a talent. Exactly. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs>